So you're thinking about making a move to Seattle. Well, if that is you, then you're gonna to wanna to stick around. In this video, we're gonna show you one of our favorite neighborhoods here in Seattle, Magnolia. And we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time to our channel, you have to know everything there is to know about living in Seattle, eating, breathing, drinking, working, playing, and everything in between, please like and subscribe to this channel so that you can be the first in the know about what's going on right here in the local market. Chris, myself, and our team, we're getting phone calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move out to Seattle. So whether you're looking to make a move in three days or even three months, Shoot us a phone call, text, or an email so that we can help you make that smooth move out here to Seattle. All right, let's head right into Magnolia. All right, so here we are. Our first neighborhood is gonna be Magnolia. We're out here at Fisherman's Terminal. Now downtown, you have Pike Place Market, but when you live out here in Magnolia, you get Fisherman's Terminal. Now you see all the boats out here, which are super amazing, a really great thing to have because what happens is, when you come into the neighborhood after a long day, you can get fresh seafood served up by Chinooks. Uh, there's also wild salmon there that the fishermen bring their fresh seafood in for you to have and buy. It's really convenient and it's really, really nice. So while this is also a really fun place, just come out here, take a look at the boats, eat some great seafood. There's also some celebrity boats out here, like some of the boats from Deadliest Catch. So if you wanna be around that level of fishermen, this is the spot, so if fishing, is in your future or you really enjoy it. Magnolia is a great neighborhood, but ultimately Magnolia is our number one selected neighborhoods for families. So right now we're gonna jump back in the car. We're gonna cruise into their little main street area so that you can see why we have such a heart for this area when it comes to families. All right, so here we are on the map of Seattle. We're gonna take a look at where Magnolia is. So Magnolia, is this space right here all right so you're going to be kind of north and to the west of the city now it's still a fantastic location if you're at magnolia and you want to get downtown that's about five miles and it's going to take you about 18 minutes now if you want to get out of here and you're you know you're looking to fly out and let's say you want to head down to SeaTac for the airport, this is going to be closer to about a 35 minute drive for you. But you're right here, right off the west side of the city across from Bainbridge Island. And it is a premier location here in Seattle. Hey guys, we're down here in the area of Magnolia. Uh, super really nice area in Seattle. Uh, one of the biggest benefits to this area is that the crime is pretty low and you've got great schools. Um, you've got the amazing uh, Discovery Park right over here. That's the biggest park in Seattle. Uh, some of the best schools in the area and a really cool kind of downtown core area here. So you've got uh, Serendipity, which is uh, a neighborhood place to just have, you know, lunch, coffee, hang out. Uh, they've got some good drinks in there. Uh, you've also got Pink Salt right up the way. That's a great restaurant, um, amazing eats. Uh, so it's really one of the reasons why it's one of our favorite neighborhoods here in Seattle. Really good for families because you've got, you know, amazing schools uh, with Blaine uh, Middle School and Elementary School right over here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's really, you know, some of the reasons why we love this area of Seattle. Okay, so we're out here in the Magnolia area right now, uh, just kind of driving through the neighborhood. I want to get you guys kind of an idea of what type of area this is. You know, some of the, the driving tour here shows you some of the houses that are in the area, uh, but also wanted to talk a little bit about what some of the average prices are here in Magnolia. So really the median home price, which is kind of the middle, is at about $1.1 million right now. And that's actually down a little bit from last year. Um, the average sale price, so the average from top to bottom, we're looking at about 1.4 million for homes in this area. Now, that's definitely higher than some of the home prices that you're going to see, you know, in North Seattle, uh, South Seattle, down into Pierce County. And so, you know, one of the reasons why it's, you know, a very attractive neighborhood for some people. 
that can also be construed as a negative, you know, for this area. So if, you know, higher home prices are something that really are pricing you out of the market or making it more difficult to purchase, that is something, you know, definitely to consider when we're thinking about Magnolia as a place that you want to live. Now, um, one of the other things that we're seeing is over the last year, because of higher interest rates, because of, you know, the market shifts and what we're seeing is we have seen a little bit of an uptick in the supply of inventory that's on the market here. So last year, about this time, we were at less than one month of inventory on market. And right now we're sitting at a little bit over one and a half months. So we've added about one month's worth of inventory, which is really just how long it takes to sell a house here. Now that is in a little bit of contrast with the new listings that are on the market here right now. New listings are actually down, you know, by about 10% from this time last year. Now that can be a little bit, you know, of a positive for you as a, you know, home buyer because taking a little bit longer for homes to sell, that means that you could potentially not have to compete against so many other offers. Now as a seller on the flip side, homes are still selling at about 100% to 100.7% of what they're actually listed for. So okay, it might take you a little bit longer to get the home sold, meaning a couple of extra weeks, but you're still going to get the price that you need. Now, you're not going to be pushed up, you know, well above list price where we would have seen something like that last year, but you are still going to get the price that you want for the home. So it's becoming more of a balanced market here, just like we're seeing in a lot of the other markets across the greater Seattle metro area. The biggest difference here in Magnolia is that you are gonna have some higher price points because it is a very beautiful area. It is a more of an exclusive area to get into as far as price points are concerned, but you've got some of the amazing benefits of Discovery Park, a really cool downtown area, and some really world-class elementary and middle schools. All right, well, there you have it, a full vlog of the Magnolia neighborhood. Now, this might be a neighborhood that works better for you, but even better, maybe to eliminate this one as something you might be looking into. So I hope that helps. Again, Chris, myself, and the team, we're getting phone calls, texts, and emails every single day for people just like you looking to make their move out here to Seattle. So until next time, I can't wait to get out here so that we can show you around.